Before we jump in, let's first understand what mold is. Mold is a type of fungus that thrives in damp and warm environments. It can grow on various surfaces, including food. And yes, that includes our favorite staple, bread. Now, it's important to know that not all molds are harmful. In fact, some molds are even used to make certain types of cheese, like blue cheese and Roquefort. But when it comes to mold on bread, the story is different. The mold that grows on bread can produce harmful substances called mycotoxins. These toxins can cause allergic reactions, respiratory issues, and even long-term health problems, such as liver damage and cancer. You might think that just cutting off the visible mold will save the rest of the bread, but that's not true. The mold you see on the surface is just the tip of the iceberg. Mold has a network of tiny, thread-like structures called hyphae that can spread deep into the bread, way beyond what you can see. So, when you cut off the moldy part, you could still be consuming the unseen mold and its toxins. In other words, the so-called clean part isn't so clean after all. And keep in mind that mold spores can easily become airborne, potentially contaminating other food items or even causing respiratory issues. How can we prevent mold from growing on bread? Store your bread in a cool, dry place, and avoid keeping it in a tightly sealed plastic bag. If you tend to take a long time to finish a loaf, consider freezing part of it to keep it fresh and mold-free. The best course of action is to throw away the entire loaf of bread if you spot mold on it. It's better to be safe than sorry. And remember, you can always buy or bake more bread. Well, there you have it, folks. We've debunked the myth of eating the clean part of moldy bread and explored the potential risks. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to keep them safe too. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. See you next time.